This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. Victor Valley College opens Western State East Conference play, trouncing Antelope Valley College by 16 points. Rams sophomore Jermaine Owens scores a season-high 30, and his answer to this question relates to jumping out with a 13-to-nothing lead, as well as opening conference play with the win. Jermaine, how important is it for a team to get off to a fast start? It's very important. You know, it sets the pace for the rest of the season. You know, we determine, you know, we just wanted to show that. So getting a, getting a victory like this for a season opening, it just shows what, how hungry we are and how hard we be working as a team. Good job today. Great game. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The Rams could not have gotten off to a better start than they do against the Marauders, hitting their first three field goal attempts. Eric Figueroa, the first basket of the game. Not all the first shots is high percentage. Jamie Owens from beyond the arc, five to nothing. Then the tallest Ram, 6'6", six, six, Eric Figueroa beats the Marauders back on the fast break and VVC has a 7 to nothing lead. Eric Figueroa is a freshman and a 2017 graduate from Summit High School in Fontana where he averaged 12 a game his senior year. Trevon Hill to Jermaine Owens, 10 nothing Rams. And Jermaine Owens again from three-point range. The Rams have their 13 to nothing lead. This is actually the first of the surges by the two teams. And La Valley College responds with 10 unanswered points before Alton Thompson stops the visitors' run with the three and makes it 16-10 VBC. Four is Trevon Rome out of Silverado. Ten, Lawrence Hill from Pflugerville, Texas. And Jermaine Owens resumes his long-range barrage. 19 to 10, Jermaine Owens, the second-year Ram from Harupa Hills in Fontana. Trevon Rome's fast break basket makes it 21 to 10. The Rams again meet with success, beating the Marauders back, and it is 23 to 10, nine minutes in. 18 this game for Eric Figueroa, who is 7 for 10 from the field. Trevon Rome to Lamar Glass, the former Granite Hills Cougar, hits from out to put the Rams up 25 to 12, a 13 to 2 run by the Rams. Alton Thompson to Eric Figueroa, who takes his man-to-man -man defender to school, 27 to 19. One of Eric Figueroa's seven rebounds this game, and the basket underneath, 35 to 19. Ten of Eric Figueroa's 18 this game in the first half. VVC up by 16. Jermaine Owens to Trivon Rome, and the Rams lead by 18, 37 to 19 at halftime. Antelope Valley scores the first eight points of the second half, closing to within 10 before Jermaine Owens resumes his torrid points production pace. Jermaine Owens scores the first 10 VBC points of the second half, his first four points after intermission from the free throw line. He is five for five from the line this game. From three-point range, an exceptional seven for 11. Jermaine Owens, seven three-pointers, too shy of the school record of nine set by James Tonic in 2015. This three-pointer puts the Rams up by 18, 47 to 29, five minutes into the second half. Tyree Jackson joins the three-point parade. Tyree Jackson, a freshman who was playing at Apple Valley this time last year. The Marauders do not stop Eric Figueroa from scoring inside. His 18 this game, raising his season average to just under 11 points a game. Eric Figueroa is contributing to the team hitting exactly half of their field goal attempts. I'm sure first-year coach Ricky Thomas would agree. A coach will take a 50% from the floor shooting night as a team any night. Eric Figueroa, 4 of 5 from the free throw line. The Rams, 13 of 15 as a team. Three Rams average double figures on the season. Alton Thompson, the third, the freshman and former Riverside Prep standout, 18 this night, giving him 314 points on the season, one more than Jermaine Owens with 313. The 6'4", Alton Thompson, hitting 46% of his field goal attempts on the year, 
converting on shots like this, contributing to the high field goal percentage. Alton Thompson, the assist to Eric Figueroa, who has the Rams' highest field goal percentage on the year at 48%. Alton Thompson shoots the pass to Lawrence Hill underneath. The Pflugerville freshman follows his shot and tips it in. The final rams by 16, 81 to 65. Victor Valley College epitomizes balanced scoring in defeating Antelope Valley College in the team's eight-point win that opens Western State East Conference play. The performance personifies team effort. Six of Coach Troy Hall's Lady Rams score between eight to 12 points, led by Michaela Hughes with 12. This sequence demonstrates many of the elements contributing to the Lady Rams win. Amber Evans the steal, one of Kendall Clark Davis's team high 10 rebounds. Season rebounds leader Sierra Steamer pulls it down and sends it back out. The teams exchange the lead in the first quarter. Michaela Hughes connects from beyond the arc to open the scoring, the first of a trio of threes for the 5-2 sophomore out of Serrano. Michaela Hughes sizes up the Lady Marauders' man-to-man -man defensive alignment and dishes off to Kendall Clark Davis, and BBC goes up five to nothing. Viviana Rojas to Kendall Clark Davis to tie the score at eight. Destiny Reed Casey to Sierra Steamer, who sends the assist to Amber Evans for three. Nine points this game for the former Oak Hills Lady Bulldog. The Lady Marauders take their biggest lead of the game when Tori Dunn scores from out. Antelope Valley College up by three. Destiny Reed Casey gets it back to Amber Evans with the left hand. It teeters and goes. And the first quarter ends with Victor Valley College trailing by one, 13 to 12. Kendall Clark Davis hits the offensive board for BBC's first points of the second quarter. The 5'10 freshman out of Riverside Prep offers her analysis of the winning effort in post-game comments. Boy, what do you think made the biggest difference? What made the difference in this game today? Honestly, um, what made the biggest difference today is that we started playing more as a team and we got to know what our strengths and our weaknesses are. So basically, when we work in practice, we work on our weaknesses to develop, to get them strong. So basically, we could come out and perform and perfect our talent. And basically, by us performing our talents today, it brought us out as a it brought us out and gave us a win today. You did a great job, a lot of offense, rebounds, and big baskets. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Megan Burt drives the baseline and sends the assist to fellow sophomore Amber Evans, whose three puts BBC up 19 to 17, and the Lady Rams will never trail the rest of the way. Michaela Hughes to Megan Burt, and the Lady Rams lead 23 to 19. Megan Burt, 5'2 sophomore out of Aquinas in San Bernardino. Excellent defensive effort, the blocked shot by ABC's top player, Sasha Duckett. Michaela Hughes recovers to Sierra Steamer, who shoots over her Lady Marauders defender, and VBC's lead is back up to four, 25 to 21. Three is point guard Megan Burt, one Amber Evans, 21 Kendall Clark Davis to Megan Burt, Amber Evans, inside to Sierra Steamer who bats it back to Megan Burt, watch Kendall Clark Davis hit the offensive board, and the VVC lead is 27-24 at the half. Sierra Steamer scores the first VVC points of the third quarter, 29-26. The 6'2 freshman from Palmdale's Pete Knight High School is the Lady Rams' leading scorer and rebounder on the season. Megan Burke to Michaela Hughes. Quick release, 3, 32-28. Destiny Marin has a huge third quarter for the Lady Rams. She hits from out, and it is BBC up 6, 34-28. The former Serrano Lady Diamondback averages 12 and a half points a game as a first year Lady Ram. Destiny Marin, breakaway with the left hand. Lady Rams by seven, 38-31. All eight of Destiny Marin's points come in the third quarter. BBC leads by nine, just over two to play in the third quarter. 
BBC lead is 11 on Megan Burtz, 3, 44 to 33. That's the score at the end of three. When Antelope Valley College closes within five, it is Michaela Hughes with the huge three, and VBC is up by eight, 52 to 44, approaching midway through the fourth quarter. The visitors never draw closer down the stretch. The Lady Rams emerge with an eight-point win to open conference play. The final score, 57-49. Katie Angelopoulos jump starts. Sultana with 16 first half points and the Lady Sultans blow by Serrano by 20 in the last game of the first round of Mojave River League action. The 5'4 junior scores 10 of her team's 12 first quarter points. Katie, how important was it to get off to a fast start with this team? Uh, we just had to score and just get points so that they couldn't beat us. The notoriously slow starting Lady Sultans do not score the first half of the first quarter. Katie Angelopoulos puts Sultana on the board midway through the opening stanza. Her three, Tarisha Sessions, the assist, gives Sultana their first lead. Katie Angelopoulos closes out first quarter scoring with another three, giving the home team a 12 to eight lead at the end of one. Tyresha Sessions scores eight of her team-high 21 points in the second quarter as Sultana mounts a 33-16 halftime lead. Tyresha Sessions heats up from the outside the second half, finishing off the scoring with a pair of threes in the 49-29 Lady Sultans triumph. The visiting Lady Diamondbacks get the scoring started, both the first half and the second half. Senior Caitlin Robinson, the first basket of the ball game. Anna Funk hits the offensive board and Serrano is up four to nothing, three and a half minutes in. Anna Funk, a junior. Sultana senior Marisol Lopez drives, scores, and ties it at four with 2.40 to go in quarter number one. The home team's first lead on Katie Angelopoulos' first three, nine to six, 45 seconds to play, first quarter. Caitlin Robinson from the top of the key, Lady Diamondbacks within one. Anna Funk follows her shot and scores the first points of the second quarter, Serrano within two. And when Anna Funk scores again, assist from Kristen O'Neill, the Lady Diamondbacks have tied the game at 12. Then the Sultana defense really goes to work. Lakin Conway, the steal to Tyresha Sessions, and the Lady Sultans begin a run, outscoring the visitors 10 to nothing over the next three minutes. Marisol Lopez steals up court to the breaking Tyresha Sessions, 16 to 12. Monique Gallardo to Katie Angelopoulos in the corner, 19 to 12. Monique Gallardo to Lakin Conway, who gets her three the hard way. Excellent touch on the runner, then the free throw, and Sultana is up by 10, 22 to 12. Camille Batabanga's basket breaks the Sultana run. Camille Batabanga, a sophomore. Marisol Lopez, the drive shot, Lady Sultans back up by 10. Another Serrano turnover, another Sultana fast break. Lakin Conway to Teresia Sessions with the left hand. 26 to 14. When Marisol Lopez steals and brings it all the way herself, the Lady Sultan's lead is up to 17, 31 to 14. Tyresha Sessions, another fast break basket, 33, 14. Anna Funk just does beat the buzzer, ending the first half at the intermission 33 to 16. Coach Ross Hansen's Lady Diamondbacks regroup at the half and come out strong in the third quarter, an eight to one run that starts with the Anna Funk follow-up. Anna Funk leads Serrano scorers this night with 13. Valerie Aguian to Caitlin Robinson. Caitlin Robinson, drive shot in the paint. Mariah Gonzalez, right place, right time. Two points for the Serrano senior. Serrano does not allow a Sultana second half field goal until Mad Mac Madison McDonald follows Tyresha Sessions up court and hits the follow up. Madison McDonald, a 5'8 senior and Lady Sultan's softball standout catcher. She hit 333 last season. 
This is when Tyresia Sessions begins to find her range from long range. This three, Lady Sultan's up by 15. It is 39 to 24, end of three. Final points of the game, Tyresia Sessions from beyond the arc. The 5'9 sophomores, 21 this night, two over her season average of 19 points a game. The final, 49 to 29, Lady Sultans. Coach Jennifer Wiedemann's girls alone in third in the MRL at three and two, 13 and seven overall. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwanzak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. Sultana's girls overcome another sluggish start and rally to beat Hesperia to keep playoff hopes alive. Marisol Lopez ignites a second half comeback. Lakin Conway hits big shots down the stretch. Teresha Sessions puts Sultana ahead to stay. And the Lady Sultans pull out a five point win on the road. The Lady Scorpions totally dominate the boards in the early going, cashing in on one offensive rebound after another to mount what would seem to be an unsurmountable lead. Freshman Kylie Edgar hits the short jumper, and Hesperia is up by 12, 15 to 3. The Lady Scorpions are sweeping the boards and putting together their highest scoring first quarter effort of the season. Tierra Cotton's shot goes, and Hesperia leads 17 to 6 at the end of one. Elian Ortiz gets the first points of the second quarter, and the Lady Scorpions are up by 13. Sultana does not get a field goal to fall until Monique Gallardo gets the assist from Tyresha Sessions in the paint. That makes it 19 to 8 with 6.50 to play before halftime. When Kylie Edgar drives the baseline and sends it to sophomore Angelina Limones, Hesperia has a 15 point lead, 23 to 8. This is their biggest lead of the game. Lakin Conway dives for the loose ball and gets it to Taylor Krogsgaard, who hits from out, and Hesperia's lead is back down to 13. Lakin Conway gets the drive shot to go, and Sultana is within 9, 23 to 14. Kylie Edgar scores the last points of the first half, and the Lady Scorpions hold a 7 point lead, 25 to 18. Katie Angelopoulos sends the assist to Marisol Lopez, whose first field goal of the night pulls Sultana within five, 25 to 20. Marisol Lopez hits the free throw, and the Lady Sultans are within four. Then Marisol Lopez off the drive, and Sultana has cut Asperia's lead to two, 25 to 23. Lady Scorpion sophomore Angelia Tuimanaluga Cross court to freshman Kalila Kayan, and Hesperia is up by 3, 29 26. Angelia Tuamanaluga hits from out, Hesperia by 5, 31 26. Angelia Tuamanaluga steals, takes it the length of the court, and polishes off third quarter scoring to give the Lady Scorpions an 8 point lead, 35 27, entering the fourth. Marisol Lopez from out. Lady Sultans within five, 35 to 30. 11 this night for Marisol Lopez, nine in the second half. 
Kalia Kayan with the layup. Hesperia back up by seven. The Lady Scorpions lead will be nine when Marisol Lopez again begins to reverse Sultana's fortunes, the reverse layup, and it is 39 to 32, Hesperia. Lakin Conway's basket cuts Hesperia's lead to five, 39 to 34. We are midway through quarter number four. Lakin Conway pulls Sultana within three, it is 39 to 36. Kalila Kayan wrestles it free and puts Hesperia back up by five, 41 to 36. Three minutes left to play. Katie Angelopoulos from the corner. Lady Sultans down two, 41 to 39. Sultana takes their first lead on Tyresha Sessions three. It is 42 to 41 with 2.20 to play. Lakin Conway drives and scores, and she is fouled. When Lakin Conway completes the three-point play, Sultana leads by four. Ten of 13 from the free throw line this game for Lakin Conway, who leads all scorers with 17. Tyresha Sessions comes through at the free throw line. 12 points this game for the Sultana sophomore. Brianna Camarina scores to pull the Lady Scorpions within two. It is 46 to 44 with 22 seconds to play. Lakin Conway's 17th point puts Sultana up three. Tyresha Sessions connects on two more from the foul line. Sultana up by five. Hesperia unable to connect on their last ditch effort the Lady Sultans emerge with a victory that seemed oh so very unlikely when they trailed by 15 in the first half. The final score is 49 to 44. The win keeps Coach Jennifer Wiedemann's girls alone in third place in the Mojave River League at four and two. The top three teams make the playoffs. Two league leaders derailed this week. Atalanta upset Silverado to gain a share of first place in the Desert Sky League one night after the Oak Hills Lady Bulldogs have their streak of 70 consecutive MRL victories end in Ridgecrest. It is a must-win situation for the Saints. Their six-point home court triumph over the Division 4 AA top-ranked Hawks and Atalanto loss would have virtually wrapped up the Desert Sky League title for Silverado. Defense, the difference, in the words of senior floor general Vincent Rupert. Vincent, what made the difference in this game tonight? We just played defense, we played harder, and we didn't let our emotions get to us. Vincent Rupert displays that defense, the steal. It will be Kyler Harvey turning the turnover into points on the scoreboard with the tip in. Kyler Harvey, a 6'5 junior, 11 points this game. Another example of that defense, Kyler Harvey snares the pass and gets it to Darian Johnson, whose drive shot gives the Saints their first lead of the game, 12 to 11, with two and a half remaining in the first quarter. Vincent Rupert bounce pass assist to Andrew Neto. The Saints lead is five. Hawks beat the buzzer to end the first. Markel Wright's tremendous athletic reaction at the buzzer, 16 to 13 Saints entering the second quarter. Jalen Hartwell's drive shot goes to open scoring in the second quarter. Hawks down one. Silverado regains the lead on this pair of Anthony Austin free throws. 12 this game for the Hawks' two sports standout, Anthony Austin, defensive back on the Hawks' DSL football championship team. Silverado goes up by three on Markel Wright's short jumper. It's 19 to 16. When Vincent Rupert surveys Silverado's defense and takes it by himself against a new man-to-man -man defender, the Hawks regain the lead 20 to 19. Another lead change, Kyrie Manning's free throw and Silverado is back on top. Then Markel Wright floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. Hawks up by three, just under five to play in the second quarter. When Kyrie Manning adds two more on the drive shot, Silverado has built a five-point lead, 25 to 20. 
Vincent Rupert breaks the Hawks run with the three. Saints down 25 to 23 with three minutes remaining before halftime. Kyrie Manning puts the Hawks back up by four with the drive shot. But Andrew Neto beats defenders back and Atalanta is back within two, 27-25. Chris Robinson with the steal, up court to Vincent Rupert who drills the three and the Saints are back in the lead, 10 of Vincent Rupert's 12 this game in the first half. Another acrobatic scoring drive by Kyrie Manning. Silverado moves back up by one, 29-28. Kyler Harvey scores 11 this game. The 6'5 junior hits from beyond the arc, and it's 31 to 29 Saints. When Darion Johnson pirates the pass, the turnover produces two more points and ends first half scoring. The Saints take a 33 to 29 lead into the locker room. Atalanta's first points of the second half come on Chris Robinson's three assist Vincent Rupert. This puts the Saints up by six, 36 to 30. Chris Robinson to Vincent Rupert, breaking to the basket. Saints up seven, 38, 31. Silverado's first field goal of the third quarter comes from Jalen Hartwell, coast to coast following the defensive rebound. Hawks back within five. Kamai keys the basket here. He scores 11 this game. The visitors are in the midst of outscoring the Saints 16 to 8 in the third quarter. Silverado leads 45 to 41, entering the fourth. Andrew Neto ignites Atalanto's fourth quarter comeback. The three and the Saints are within one. Seven of the 6'5 seniors game high 20 in the fourth quarter. This free throw puts Atalanto ahead to stay. 46 to 45. Kyler Harvey, offensive rebound and scores. Saints up three. Silverado will close within one three times in the final three minutes. The Saints hold them off. Vincent Rupert here. Darion Johnson, the 5'10 sophomore, one of many Hawks with an outstanding game. He scores 14 on the night. Markel Wright hits from beyond the arc. Silverado's leading scorer on the year leads his team this night with 19, his season average. Silverado forced to foul in the final moments. Darion Johnson hits four of four from the free throw line to end the scoring. The final, Atalanto 62, Silverado 56. The Saints win leaves both the Saints and Hawks at four and one, deadlocked atop the DSL standings with three games remaining. Once every year, this time of year, Southern California's vast Mojave Desert, specifically Johnson Valley, sees and hears its tranquility interrupted by teams of the country's top and toughest off-road vehicles. King of the Hammers, the toughest one-day off-road race on the planet. Endurance, desert terrain, competition style, rock crawls. 80% of the racing teams that start do not finish the 165-mile course. The 13th annual King of Hammers event commences with Hammertown opening Friday, February 1st and continues through Saturday, February 9th. King of the Hammer, the toughest off-road race on the planet. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. 
Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events.